Math time na! It's me, Teacher Jane, and welcome to my channel! Interesado ka sa subject ko? Please don't hesitate to click the subscribe button and click that notification bell para updated ka sa next uploads ko. And for today's topic, we will be discussing linear equation in one variable. Objectives, solve linear equation in one variable. What is linear equation in one variable? Linear equation in one variable is a mathematical statement that shows two algebraic expressions are equal. Expression Expression Equal Examples of linear equations in one variable. Characteristics of a linear equation in one variable. Number one, it has equality symbol, of course. Number two, it has only one variable since we are dealing with linear equation in one variable. Next, the highest exponent of the variable is always one. Let's proceed with our topic, solving linear equation in one variable.
Now, let's solve for the value of x. Solve x plus 4 equals 12. So, in this equation, what is x? So that x plus 4 is equal to 12. So, let's get the additive inverse of plus 4, which is minus 4. So, minus 4. If we subtract 4 to the right side equation, then subtract also to the left side equation. Then, so x is equal to 12 minus 4. So, x is equal to 8. So, to check if the answer is correct, let us substitute 8 for the value of x. So, 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. So, the right side equation is 12. The left, the left side x equation is 12. Then, it satisfies the equation. They are equal. How about if we have negative 5 plus x equals negative 10? So, what is x so that when you add negative 5, it becomes negative 10? So, again, get the additive inverse of negative 5, which is positive 5. Then, add both sides to the left and the right side of the equation. Then, x is equal to negative 10 plus positive 5. x is equal to negative 5 following the rules of signed numbers. Again, kapag ang kasama ng variable sa other side of equation is addition or subtraction, let's uh, just get the additive inverse or ang tinatawag nating opposite. Kapag plus 5, minus 5 ang gagamitin mo. Kapag naman minus 5, plus 5 ang gagamitin mo. So, we just add the opposite of the number or constant na kasama ng ating variable para maiwanan siya, maiwanan ang variable sa other side of equation. So, how about if we have number 3, 4y equals 32. So, basahin natin yung expression. It means 4 times y is equal to 32. So, for you to solve this, let's do the opposite. Kung times siya, ang gagawin naman natin ay division. So, we divide both sides of the equation by 4 kasi ito yung katabi ng ating variable. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1. So, may iwan sa right side equation is y. And then, 32 divided by 4 is equal to 8. Now, let's check. To check, 4y equals 32. Again, uh, read it first. 4 times y equals 32. Then, substitute the value of y, which is 8, based on what we have solved. 4 times 8 is equal to 32. So, 32 ang ating right side equation. 32 ang ating left side equation. Then, it satisfies the solution. For the next example, we have a over 5 equals 13. So, if we read this, this is a divided by 5 is equal to 13. So, again, to solve this, we do the opposite. So, since division siya, so we are going to multiply. So, multiply both sides by 5 kasi ito ang constant na malapit sa, sa variable natin. Then, ang matitira sa right side equation is A, and then 13 times 5 is 65. And to check, again, A over 5 is equal to 13. A is 65 based on what we have solved. So, substitute 65 to A, 65 divided by 5 is 13. 13 is equal to 13, then it satisfies the equation. So again, 
kapag nagsasolve naman tayo ng ang katabi ng variable, ang operation ay multiplication or division, we do the opposite. Again, kapag multiplication ang operation na kasama ng ating variable, ang gagawin natin ay division. Kapag division naman o fraction form ang ating ang at kasama ng ating variable, then ang gagawin naman natin ay ang opposite syempre ng division which is multiplication. So ganun lang kadali. Basic na basic, di ba? Paano naman kung ito ang ating isosolve? Para malaman kung paano nga ba natin masosolve ang problem na yon, abangan ang aking next video. Sorry, it's DJ. DJ And that ends our lesson today. See you next meeting. Goodbye.